Hey guys, Mrs. Gatch here. Today I'm going to show you how you can lay out different elements in your minimalist poster to create the best um, pop poster possible. So first I always like to start off with a few simple things. So one question that's really popular is how do I create a background or change the background color? For that, you just have to think a little bit outside the box. You got to go to where it says shape and you pick a square and then you're going to make the square the size of the entire page. Now, if you see that I did that, you'll notice that, oh, I extended to another page. This is a really easy thing to solve. All you guys have to go is to where it says arrange, and then you are going to where it says automatic with the text wrap, you just put none, and then you can go ahead and leave it there. When you're done formatting it, you should lock it, but remember then this is a great time where you can go ahead and put in some color, and adjust how that all works out. But once you're happy with how your background looks, that's when you go to arrange and you lock it. That way it won't move when you place things in. Um, also, this is one thing I often see. People will start to put in shapes. So let me put in several different ones here. And depending on what happens, sometimes the shapes will either let's say they'll move, like they start to move things around or they'll go off the page. It's really interesting what happens. I don't quite know how it affects things, um, but you might find something, you'll drop something in. Let's say if I put in a picture from my downloads and, oh, I did not want to do that. And it might shift things around. Okay, this is what I was talking about. So. If that ever happens, then you guys can select your object and you just always want to make sure that its arrangement is just none. So it's not going to affect anything. So um, this is always a really good thing to show where you can move things to the back, you can move them to the front, or you can move them backwards, which like moves them backwards once. And then you go back and forth. So just giving you a bit of ideas. Another thing is, is if I ever wanted to make a picture like bigger or smaller, but wanted to adjust the shape, you can go to where it says constrain proportions and unclick it and then that allows you more freedom to fix it. Also if you double click on it, you can crop. Really cool thing. And a triple cool thing is that if you select your image and you go to where it says image, you go to something called instant alpha and what it does is that it'll select a color. So I'll click and then I'll start to scroll up with my finger and it'll actually make a picture transparent. See where it starts to erase it. So maybe I just wanted the pug, but not the background. There he is. And when you hit done, you have a nice little transparent PNG. It's pretty cool in my opinion. So those are just some few tools that you guys can use with your um, layout and alignment in pages for your minimalist poster. Let me know if you have any questions.